at-risk youth in our community have a direct impact. If they can't find academic success, if they can't find vocational success, if they can't find positive outlets to contribute to society, they're going to take those avenues that negatively impact society. If we're able to invest in our youth now and give them alternatives to those pathways, our whole society benefits. My students come here because they're academically challenged, but that academic challenge comes from a variety of different reasons. It could be anything from having an unstable family situation. A lot of times our students come to school hungry and they can't learn because all they can focus on is that hunger. You learn through casual conversation that your student lives in a foster home or that they're homeless. When they come to our program, we not only have to address those academic issues, but the emotional and psychological issues that are causing them to be here and ultimately preventing them from being successful academically. We started this garden program at Hin Villa about four years ago. It was completely driven by the students. They were the ones that built the fence, constructed the beds, planted the plants. We take multiple field trips multiple times a year. We address issues of nutrition, the environment, environmental stewardship. My students have access and exposure to hiking trails. They have access to their farm program. They're also able to cook. They come back to Hidden Villa and see those projects and they say, I planted that or I did that. That's a huge sense of accomplishment because a lot of them don't experience that kind of success in the classroom. I've definitely had a few students who've approached me and said that the class has made a huge difference in their lives and that they've completely changed their eating habits, they're more mindful. If we were able to give all at-risk youth multiple exposures to Hidden Villa and other nature programming, I actually think that we would be vastly more successful in getting them back to district as full functioning people and students. Mm -hmm.